Dan Jebelisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey 1. Good vibrations. I uh, had a question from a viewer uh, of my ham radio videos who has expressed interest in mounting a vertical antenna on top of a carport that's uh, this structure right here I'm not sure if it has a garage in it or not and it really doesn't matter um, what matters is that it has a grounded metal roof and he wanted to know uh, some of my design ideas for an HF multiband vertical HF meaning high frequencies presumably 80 meters and up um, 80 meters and shorter wavelengths, although maybe 40 meters and shorter wavelengths would be more more realistic in most circumstances. A grounded metal roof, and my suggestion is to run 50 ohm coax to the feed point of this antenna, and then install an automatic antenna tuner at that feed point and the radiating element should be a single aluminum pole guide in the center with nylon rope and as tall as possible. Um, the taller the better basically would be a fundamental rule of thumb on um, on these uh, HF bands for most QTHs. Then for each band, install a quarter wavelength radio and install two of them for each band you intend to use. Measure a quarter of a wavelength according to the formula length in feet equals 234 divided by the frequency in megahertz. So this would be in feet and this would be in megahertz. So for example, uh, at 7 megahertz it would be about 33 feet, I believe. Um, I believe that's the correct formula, isn't it? Uh, for 3.5 megahertz it would be about 66 feet. For uh, 21 megahertz would be about 11 feet. For every band that you intend to use, install two of these radiating elements, preferably at, expo at opposing 180 degrees apart. They should be insulated number 12 or 14 gauge copper wire. Not bare wire, but insulated wire. Just lay them right down on the metal roof not in contact with it electrically, but contact with it physically is all right. Just lie it flat on the roof. If it's too long, it can droop down the side of the carport and even if necessary, go along or slightly underneath the surface of the earth. Again, this metal roof, as I understand it, is grounded. Now, I wouldn't try to use the metal roof itself as the radial system or the ground plane for this antenna for uh, a couple of reasons. Number one, you don't know its resonant properties and you don't know that any seams that may exist, welds or seams, are electrically consistent. Uh, they may make fairly good contact but you don't know how good. So you can't really rely on this grounded metal roof for anything much other than perhaps to enhance the quality of the ground system for radio frequencies. But I wouldn't rely on it as the primary ground system. That would be produced by these quarter wavelength resonant radials. So up uh, at this frequency, at whatever frequency you plan to use in megahertz, a wavelength, a quarter of a wavelength, 
is 234 divided by that frequency in megahertz. That's the length in feet. The automatic antenna tuner should uh, be RF actuated or maybe by a control cable, a separate control cable to the radio. If possible, you should disconnect this coax from the tuner when you are not using the radio to minimize the chances of lightning damage. Uh, you might want to also have an antenna grounding uh, switch or relay remote con remotely controlled. Um, those are little additions, but the primary radiating element can be a random length element. No traps, no loading coils, none of that stuff. That's all taken care of. Resonance is obtained by the automatic antenna tuner. That is my suggestion for this viewer uh, based on my knowledge of antenna theory and design. It's sort of a an optimized situation and uh, don't forget the guying the nylon rope. It should not be conducting materials separated by insulators or anything like that. It should be totally non-conducting. can go to the corners, the four corners of the carport and this uh, antenna should of course be mounted in the center of the carport roof. Stangibalisco W1GV saying 73 which means best regards in ham radio jargon and so long which regardless of the frequency regardless of the antenna type regardless of the antenna design on HF or any other frequency range in my native fist always translates to so long, did it da, did da.